Hi guys, so as you all know, I just love 3D printing my own miniatures and I get most of mine from Thingiverse or my mini factory but also there's loads and loads of great kickstarting companies out there uh, producing some wonderful figures and one of them is called Dungeon Smithy and that's where these figures come from and they've just started an adventure begins there is a link in the comment guys so go check them out and see what they do they only launched a few days ago and run to the end of September so they can do around about 13 miniatures a month dozens of terrain pieces, heroes, monsters and even custom figures which is pretty awesome and all their stuff is modular which is obviously awesome because everyone loves that because it's great to be able to mix and match, move bits about and yeah basically set things up how you want to set them up so yeah link in the description guys go check them out so obviously I downloaded their figures and took them into my Anycubic software for me to be able to print out obviously I love this Anycubic um, Photon Mono it's got a nice big base plate and as you can see I can get lots and lots of figures and parts sort of on one uh, on one print which is pretty cool so another great thing about these figures is they all come pre-supported which obviously makes life so much easier as it is a case of dragging them into the software getting the, uh, your printer ready um, yeah pushing a few buttons and then printing out some miniatures it couldn't be any simpler if it tried so yeah these figures I think they took I don't know about an hour and a half maybe two hours to print not too long at all and then it's just a case of cleaning them up stick them under the UV light for a bit and then they're ready to go so obviously I like to put my uh, mine on these cork bases it's already primed in black all ready for a bit of dry brushing so yeah so this slap chop method I know it's got other names and it's been around for hundreds of years uh, but obviously it's kind of new to me because I only came across this well a few weeks ago uh, this is only like the third sort of time I've actually uh, been using this technique and I'll have to say yeah pretty cool so basically just prime in black then go round and dry brush with a grey let that dry and then go and do a dry brush with a white so you really are just hitting obviously the uh, the outer areas which is, uh, which is pretty awesome as you can see I'm doing like a batch painting because I, I do find this is so much quicker and obviously easier to do several uh, at once because then whatever you do to one you are literally just doing to the others so as you can see here I've kind of put a little bit too much white on this one um, that's why generally I do sort of like use a brush on my finger to see how it looks uh, but yeah sometimes we do sometimes put a bit too much on uh, but that's fine it just means that's going to have more highlights uh, than it possibly should have but uh, there you go so yeah just going around doing all of them uh, so this is the, the, uh, the bit of dry brushing with white and then they're ready for speed paints uh, which really does make this so easy so yes yeah, so I'm not even too sure where this name came from um, I can understand the slap bit as obviously you're just slapping on paint uh, but the chop bit I'm not too sure and you know, I only saw one video uh, where they did this method and I thought oh that looks nice and easy so obviously I copied it so I've not looked at others to sort of see if anyone does explain why this is called slap chop so guys yeah if you know why it's called that leave a comment down below because um, I'd like to know but not enough for me to go and find out myself <laughs> so yeah you guys let me know so yeah all the speed paints and contrast paints didn't work really well uh, except this one and this one's a skin tone um, I know the chap obviously I am putting it onto quite a darkish sort of undercoat uh, but yeah the skin tone one always seems to come out well darker than it looks on the tin um, yeah so I'm not too sure if I'm doing this incorrectly or if I've got a bad sort of flesh tone all these bottles are shaken uh, to an inch of their life before I use them so they are well and truly thoroughly mixed up but um, yeah the normal skin tone always seems dark and as you'll see later on I kind of don't like it and I repaint it so there are a few colours that obviously I haven't got any contrast paints or speed paints to use and one of them is a silver uh, I'm not sure if this is something they are going to possibly try and bring out uh, but generally when I use the silver I just sort of water it down a little bit more so you can still see a little bit of what's underneath uh, but again as you'll see later on I always throw a wash over the silver just to sort of dirty it up it looks too uh, too neat and clean and again yeah batch painting obviously this is where it really does come into its own because this is a case of every figure that's got a bit of silver in you just sort of do them all well one after the other uh, which is pretty cool I would like to say a quick thank you and a shout out to all my patrons as well as my sponsors for helping to fund the channel just so I can sort of continue to go out and buy 
new bits and pieces to uh, well to help make these videos basically. Um, so yeah, if you want to become a patron, there's a link in the description, and you can get to see some behind the scenes pictures and videos and stuff of uh, what I'm currently working on, as I am in generally always working on about three or four projects at once. Uh, just because I like it, I like to be busy. It's okay, guys. Don't adjust your screen. Uh, it's all gone black because this is where I was filming myself um, doing some block basic colours. Uh, I redid the skin, but for some reason the uh, the video didn't seem to well the video. So hey ho. Anyway, back to the video. As you can see, the skin colours do look a lot brighter and nicer now. Um, yeah, but say so I haven't got a clue why the. Uh, the speed paint skin always seems to come out, well, looking a whole lot darker than it really should. So yes, I did use a few sort of normal paints in a few areas, obviously the skin being one of them. Um, so yes, it is now just a case of anywhere that I have done that, I'm just going to chuck a, a wash on. Um, I'm not going to do it on the skin, only because whenever I do wash on the skins, again, it makes them look sort of too dark um, and too grimy. So for, for a change, there is an area where I'm not going to use a wash. But um, yeah, so generally there's some sort of lighter colours that I used on the figures, so they all get a wash. And obviously, definitely, like I was saying earlier, anything I painted silver um, looks too neat and tidy, so that definitely gets a wash. And some of you are probably saying, "Go, you know, I've thrown a lot of that wash on." And yeah, you're probably right. Um, but it's how I like it. So yeah, we all paint differently because obviously we all like things in a different way. And then that's it all done. So it's just a case of sliding these off the uh, the cork, um, rather than just sort of pulling them off. Because sometimes if you just pull them off you can pull off more cork than anything or you might even break the figure so yeah using me uh, my blade slide it underneath obviously watching my fingers uh, luckily I still have 10 which is cool um, and then yeah a little bit of sand in just to get rid of the little bit of uh, glue that's sort of stuck under the base and yeah jobs are good one. and obviously do that with all the figures so when I do put the figures on here as you'll see here I literally only put a little bit of glue on the uh, the base just because obviously then, well, you haven't got to take too much off afterwards. And there we go, stick a fork in me, I'm done. So guys, go check out the Kickstarter by Dungeon Smithy and see everything they've got to offer. Um, as yeah, I think they've got a lot there that looks great. Lots of figures, lots of um, terrain bits and pieces. And what they're offering is certainly great value for money. So yeah, click on the link guys, show some love. So yeah, that's it. I'm really happy with how these have all turned out. I say a little bit of combination of the old slap chop painting, uh, base basic sort of base painting, and a bit of a wash over the top. But I'm I'm pleased with how these have come out, and yeah, I think they look pretty awesome. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Leave some comments down below, and share where possible, as obviously all that helps out so much with my channel. Um, just so more and more people can see it, subscribe, and all that great stuff. So yeah, cheers, guys. Eat lots of cookies. Take care. Bye for now.